He's a great teammate. He's a great communicator. He's a great quarterback. He can throw and he can run. That's a dual threat. He needed to go somewhere so he can show people what he can do. Yo, yeah, what's going on over time? It's Jay Jones. I'm here with my boy Steve. We're at Georgia Tech. I'm about to get a throwing session. There you go. <laughs> they be downplaying your arm on the show, though. I low-key with the fact that people think I can't throw. When I was the last chance you, it was ups and downs. It was a lot going on that wasn't shown on camera. Like, when he brought Malik in to throw that go, me and Malik, bro, we was like, shoot, if he gonna do that, bro, like, just leave Malik in, bro, because it ain't like I can't throw a go to. Come on, now. Hell, if I can't throw nothing else, I can throw a go with my eyes closed. Come on, deep, too, I'm talking <laughs> Me and Malik cool. I talked to Malik last week. I hit him up before the show came out because I had seen the show before. They had like a competitive little storyline between us. It's all going to be competitive when we get out there on the field, but you're not going to expect me to have animosity against this guy. And that's what was kind of persuade on the show, but it wasn't like that. Coach Brown, he, he's, a, he's a character. He's a good coach, man. He means well. I uh, would we'll probably say just the way that things were handled could have been handled a little bit better. But, you know, you can't go back and change that. It's already done. It's crazy seeing Jay on TV, man. It got me excited, you know, to see him back on the field. But, you know, it kind of hurt me to see him get hurt. Do you know what you're going to do to that scene? <laughs> when you got hurt, bro? <laughs> oh, man. Hamstring injury. Uh, so I didn't practice two weeks before that game. I probably did the walkthrough the day before the game, and that run, that was my first time getting up in a good month. When I was telling him I got hurt, he was thinking I was just saying I got hurt in the game. Right. He didn't know, bro, like I didn't practice three weeks before that. It was just one of those circumstances where I tried to get up and it just popped on me. I ain't never felt like I felt after the first game. I feel much better. <laughs> Way better than I did at Indy. Oh, the biggest thing I learned was composure. Control what you can control, and um, everything could be in your favor. You know, I was always smiling, like, um, if another quarterback in, I was rooting them on. They didn't look at it like I was throwing animosity, throwing shade to them. It was just, we were all coming to practice and getting better every day. Let me meet you in between that hash, and um, you see that little ski mark in the, in the field? When he called me, told me he was coming back up. That's nothing but excitement for me, you know, because that's my boy. It just like reminiscing on the old days, yes, throwing with him. It just bring back memories. Came back to Tech, the, I had close relationships here. Coach Collins was the coach that gave me my first offer. He was at Mississippi State. He was the first D1 coach, SEC, to ever recruit me. And uh, it's guys that I miss, man, like Steve. This is one of my best friends, for real. See, playbook, man. You, you never know like what you're gonna do with this type of offense. And um, that was one of the reasons why I kind of derailed from staying here the first time. It was a big controversy because that's a cut up interview what was on Last Chance U. What I said in that interview was I left because offensive players weren't getting as many as the opportunities as defensive players. When I was looking at Tech, they were throwing the ball 12 times a game, and I was cool with that. That's nothing different than I was doing in high school. Since then, that's changed, and now you can sit back and shotgun, and now you have five, you're five yards behind the line of scrimmage. So everything's slower when you've been doing that speed option with everything happening right on the line of scrimmage, one yard in front of you. That's tough. That's nice. That's nice. Which one? Uh, let me get a hitch. Oh, nice. Oh. Damn, I hate kissing like that. <laughs> what else you want? You good? I don't know. I mean, you sure? Yeah, uh, let's, let me, I'm gonna do probably that one deep ball. By my freshman year here, I threw it from about the, it was about the 40 to the end zone. I gotta do it from about the 30 this time. But I'm gonna go for 80 this time. That's what I want you to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, yes, sir, Jay. Yes, sir. That's nice, boy. All right, I'm about to throw an 80. Oh, that's yes, sir. It. That's in there. That's it. That's it. That's crazy, yo. I'm talking about not on the line, though. You behind the line. <laughs> that's crazy. All right, now overtime. That was our throwing session. I'm Jay. It's hey, Steve. Hey, and we who? We out. We out. You know, overtime is everywhere. We got all the highlights. We chill with all the players who made us. I want to meet them. Check out all the videos right here and subscribe. You heard.